COVID-19 has provided a means to be more resilient and to quickly adapt. We learned early on that we may start down one road to implement a procedure this way. Then the pandemic started and realized as things changed, we had to pivot and deal with it in another way. I think even though we've gone through a pandemic, we have also benefited from uh, unique and creative ways of operating in the workplace and ultimately providing services to the community. Operation Vaccinate the Peninsula involved the collaboration of the six Virginia Peninsula localities, the hospital systems and the health district. And I think, you know, in the history of the COVID response, um, that's going to go down as just, you know, a really amazing tale of people overcoming all of their competing pressures that every locality has to do what was best for the region. But in terms of communication from our utility staff to our police and fire staff to the managers to our elected officials, I think we really do collaborate and work well together. And the pandemic really highlighted that. Uh, I was on daily or weekly calls with all the chief administrative officers across Hampton Roads for a period of time. We talked continuously. We had our staff talking continuously. So I'm really proud of how all of us have come through this. I think stronger and better together and a little more understanding of one another. None of us could do these things on our own. Uh, so we really did rely on each other at the local government level. But then we also found out we have a huge uh, asset in our community that maybe we didn't utilize as much uh, in the past that I think we can utilize more moving forward. And that's both the church organizations, the local nonprofits. There are so many organizations out there who can get into some of these communities and relay information, whether it be about vaccinations, upcoming weather events. You know, there's a lot of things that go on in the county where we sometimes struggle to get that message out to everybody. We found out that they're really good at doing that. So my hope is um, out of this whole entire mess that we'll be able to continue some of those relationships and that I'll be able to build within those community partnerships some sort of general emergency preparedness for these groups targeted to them so that they can be a little bit more prepared for disasters of any sort. So I don't want to lose these partnerships that we've built over the last year and a half that have been very valuable and I'm definitely Definitely looking forward to working with them more in the future. I would say that prior to the pandemic, it would be easy for an administrator of a local government to say that the opinion of government generally was at its lowest. And the pandemic really gave local government the opportunity to demonstrate its capability. And I hope in Williamsburg we did. And I think coming out of it, what we've done is through the, the forged relationships, the forced relationships, uh, with the business community, with the residents, and with our strategic partners, both other jurisdictions and the private entities, uh, leads to more trust and understanding of what can be done. And I certainly will feel more comfortable picking up the phone and calling somebody whose help I need, and I hope they feel the same way about us.